Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. And I'm back on my uh, Reacts Request page on the website on Guitargate. And I'm going down, and I <laughs> see Randy Rhodes. I'm probably going to do that one next. Uh, but what caught my eye first was back-to-back -back Jeff Healy's by two different people as the years go passing by and see the light. Now, I do not believe... Now, you got a lot of Gary Moores here, too, uh, by different people. Can I have to do those? Uh, I do not believe I've done any Jeff Healy on this channel. I think we have on the Tuesday night live streams, but not a proper react. I'm going to do as the years go passing by, because I've seen the other one, and I have not seen this. This is Brad Smith. He says, I mean, come on, the guy's nuts. Hands down my favorite guitarist. Hope you react to some Jeff Healy. The man deserves some loving. Charles Dance, as a Lifetime member, says, I think this is a must. Incredible. So we got a second. Let's do it. Now, I'm imagining that uh, this is the same as that old Albert King tune. I don't know if Albert wrote it or not, but let's take it in. Come on. Thank you very much. You, uh, you guys must know that you're you're going to be on TV or something like that. You're giving out with all that. I don't noise. know if I've ever heard his speaking voice. <laughs> so thank you. For those that don't know, he's blind, or at least legally blind. Plays sitting down, right, like this. So not like this, like this. Prepare yourself. This guy, and, and the, just prepare yourself. Thank you very much for uh, coming out and the, spending your Sunday with us. How you doing? You all right? I'm ready. Good. <laughs> Feist. Ferocious, ferocious. Just, the thing that blows me away more than anything is his use of the thumb for the big bends. But just, dude, got the Les Paul on his knees, comes in so oppressively loud. The dude has so much swagger. Just watch this again. I mean, he just casually, yeah, we'll do as the years go passing by, you know, and just whatever. And as soon as the band comes in, he's just like, ice, cut your head off. Okay, oh man, he's so, you know, when you have some type of disability, right? When you don't, and dare I say it, right? Have 
the luxury, right, of being able to do it how everyone else can do it, it's actually oftentimes, and this is not, this is not specific to music, it is oftentimes a blessing in disguise for those who stick through it, right, and create a way that only they could do it. It is, his phrasing and his tone and the way he slides and everything is, he had to make the way he did this, right? And so because he had to do it a different way instead of how other people could do it, it is so different, right? It's just, I haven't watched him in a while and it's mesmerizing to see. Okay. With that being said, let me give you the form here. If you guys are new here, this is what we do. Broad strokes, ladies and gentlemen. What, what's the, the key takeaways? This is a minor blues in C. So you got C minor, C minor seven. It's like a six eight or 12 eight slow ballad. Uh, you got your four, F minor, and then it does uh, five dominant, so harmonic minor, right? So we got G7, pushes up to the flat six, just move the same shape up, five, and then back to C minor. Um, there is some movement in here. It's like a quick change, meaning it's quick from the one to the four and back in areas. There's some cool little bass things that happen. So like when it goes to... up to the relative major, flat seven, right? There's some of that that goes on. Let's keep going. This is a seven minute, 28 minute track. So let's, let's, let's not get stuck. Well, I give you all I want, right, you hear it right there? Well, I give you all I want, so he's on the one and then it goes, That's how you, you got over to the four. So C, up to E flat, if you will. E flat, and now you're over an F. There's one thing you can deny. It goes up. Yes, I said I give you most of everything. Wait, wait. These slurs, man, I'll never get them. he just holds the neck he, he, like watching Stevie Ray Vaughan right when he's singing you can you can you can watch him shake it it's a visceral thing like there's no disconnect between the voice and the wood and the wire right it's 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 another arm it's the same thing same thing with Jeff you watch it but watch his grip how he's holding the neck and thinking about going to different patterns it's 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 the same thing but it's its own universe fascinating watch his hand Yes, I say I give you most of everything, oh baby. Baby, that's one thing you can't deny. You know my Amber, that five. What a great video.
<laughs> then, then it's like a, it's like a. <laughs> it's, it's like he shoots for the, he shoots. It's all C minor pentatonic in, in the neighborhood of that, right? But because he can't see and he's going like by feel and muscle memory alone, like you and I, when we do that, when we're in the moment, you know, but then like if we push it too hard, we can check back in. He can't check back in, right? So he goes down and he hammers in a minor blues. Like you hear that E come through, but he immediately recognizes it. And it's like the way he grips it, it must be just a constant, like you got to keep that pressure. You never do this, right? Like where you lift up, you got to always stay there. So he must have a system in his brain feeling the frets and it just it's just connected with his ear you hear him go down and grab it and immediately adjust and it's just these are sounds that you only hear him do because of this Love all the articulation, picking every single one. And I just noticed he holds the pick like this, not like this. Zoom in, get you. Like this. Oh, oh, oh. Run. God, man. Look at it. Dude is such, dude, man, cock of the walk, man. This is, this is, just watch him. Imagine being blind and having a completely unorthodox way of playing it and whatever and using it to your full advantage and just owning the song, owning the crowd. He's, you're watching one of these weightless moments we talk about all the time where there are no wrong notes. He just did three or four back to back where he, where he jumps up two octaves, comes back down, misses it a little bit, immediately adjusts, grabs it, sells it, and he's just like, I mean, it is full send right here. Watch this. Watch this.
See, right there, he was a little bit below it. Like, he was, he, he was like, just C to C, right? Sorry. Right? But then the second time he comes down, he, he goes, he goes, uh, hits a B right underneath it, adjust. And then the third time he goes, C sharp. So, you gotta ask yourself, did he mean to go C, a little below B to C, a little above C sharp to B? Or, or is he thinking to himself, hit it the first time, oh shit, that was too low. Let me try to do a little bit ahead this time and maybe I'll get it and I overshot it. Either way, this is so fascinating and encouraging and inspiring and the dude is just all nuts. I'm telling you, I, the amount of authority with which he's playing, it's just, it just is flowing. It's just, he, own, he owns me right now. Look at that snare drop. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Yes! Holy shit. Baby, so long, so long goodbye. You're not going to get that with anybody else. Stay on it, bro. So you could see right there him grabbing that B flat and just keeping um, those triplets or sextuplets, if you want to call it. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Uh, with each one. So you got the. I think it's a minor seven like that. Watch him go over. That grab that B flat before you go up to that C. Lots of little things in there like that that make this pop. Loves hammering that five. Like that move right there. This move. It's in silence, but you know how you and I recheck with our eyes, right? We, we get a barrier. You can watch him do it up here. He's, he's up in eighth position. Right? He's here. And he's thinking about going back down to here. Watch him. This is a muscle memory move. He goes down, feeling the frets, counting where he is. It is the same for him as you and I looking. Watch it. He's muting with his pinky, right? It's over. He puts his pinky down to mute. Did you hear that? No. There was silence in there. But he went down. He started the mute, went down. Then he's muting with his thumb as he goes down to count, right? And helping with this pinky, too. Fascinating mechanics. You know my love. He just did it again to make sure. As the years go passing by. As the years go passing by. <laughs> Love him. Bring it up. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Brad, thank you for making this happen and for, and for being a subscriber and for suggesting this one. Um, absolutely fascinating. Um, again, I'm just going to say it. If you have an ailment, a disability, in a weird, messed up way, there is a gift, there is a blessing hiding in there because you can't do it like everybody else. And when you stop, when you remove the barrier of others, physically, right, or mentally, whatever it is, right, and you make, and you literally make the way only you can do it, you literally, I hate using this word, but you have the rare privilege and opportunity out of something that you couldn't have controlled to make something completely your own with your own fingerprint and your own sound. There are those of us who work our entire lives searching for that unicorn, which is, can you tell it's me in three notes? Do you know, does that person have the fingerprint, right? Is the sound forever intertwined with them? Watching Jeff is almost like an out-of-body experience. His mechanics are unbelievable. I'm going to watch this over and over again. But just the way that he, you could hear him and you could watch him go through his system of knowing the neck that he created and trying to equate that to what I do and what is normally taught is absolutely fascinating. Much more fascinating than, you know, this is a minor, you know, 6-8 blues that has a dominant 5 which goes to the flat 6 and back and, and that diminished run, whatever. This is so inspirational and motivational. Just, just, Do it. Do it. Do it. No excuses. I'm telling me as much as I'm telling you. Do it.